Hello, I'm Julia King from Aston University in the United Kingdom and I'm on the Automotive Council and we've been having a very lively debate and we've come down to three areas where we are taking things forward. Uh, one is in trying to put together a whole economy framework, um, probably based on the work of the International Energy Agency, to which we, we would try and get some agreement from the automotive industry about where we're trying to get to in 2050. That's, a, that's really quite a challenging long-term um, position. But the other two shorter-term areas are we, we are going to need to see over the next 20 years quite a high rate of change of technology. And yet we have standardization processes um, and approval processes for new safety measures and things, which are done by committee structures where agreement can take many years to agree to a change. And if we're going to manage to absorb this high rate of change of technology for the benefit of mankind in the automotive area, we need to radically reduce the time it takes us to get to those agreements. So we need new models and new processes there. And the third very exciting area is going to be the impact, the potential impact of connectivity on um, things like safety and congestion and the way we drive and share our cars. Um, and that's something we can look at immediately because Almost every driver, whether in the in the rich world or the rapidly developing world, almost every driver has a mobile phone. So thinking not about necessarily about the very futuristic autonomous vehicles, but thinking now about the radical effect that that connectivity we already have can have in the next 10 or even 15 years. And so some very immediate and exciting and beneficial impacts.